Now, ever since Donald Trump won the U.S. presidential race, he's been a pretty busy man. He's curating his team and announcing new names pretty much every day. And two more names have now emerged who will be joining Trump 2.0. The Republican leader has nominated a new head for the Department of Education, the very same vertical that at a point of time Donald Trump had once pledged to abolish. Now, the president-elect has picked Linda McMahon as the education secretary. But who is Linda McMahon? Well, she's the former CEO of the World Wrestling Entertainment. Now, Linda McMahon is the wife of the WWE magnate Vince McMahon. And Trump described Linda McMahon as the fierce advocate for parents' rights. Now, the leader has, in fact, pledged to send education back to the states, and McMahon will spearhead that effort. Now, Trump has also highlighted McMahon's two-year stint on the Connecticut Board of Education and 16 years on the boards of the trustees of the Sacred Heart University, which is a private Catholic school, as her experience in education. Now, the second announcement made by Donald Trump is that of Mehmet Oz, a former surgeon and a television celebrity. Now, Oz is making a comeback in the second term. He's been roped in to lead the U.S.'s massive public health insurance program in Trump's first term, the surgeon was appointed to the Presidential Council on Sports, Fitness and Nutrition in 2018. In 2022, Oz unsuccessfully had run for the Senate from Pennsylvania with Trump's backing. Now, Trump's third nomination is that of Howard Lutnick, the co-chair of his transition team as his Commerce Secretary. Now, Lutnick will also lead the country's tariff and trade agenda with additional direct responsibility for the Office of the United States' Trade Representative. Now, these are the latest pick. Let's also now talk about who might not make it to the Trump's administration. The president-elect has said that he is not reconsidering the former congressman Matt Gaetz's nomination for general attorney, attorney general. Now, Gaetz is accused of having, years ago, paid a then 17-year-old girl for sex. The Florida Republican is also being probed for alleged illicit drug use, converting campaign funds for personal use, and sharing inappropriate images or videos on the floor of the House and other alleged misconduct. Now, he was tapped by Trump on Wednesday to head the Justice Department and when asked if he was reconsidering the nomination. Trump replied that, of course, he was not. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.